Johannesburg and so where it used to be a nightclub around there in that 50, uh, 5 0 floor. Okay, my phone. The BMW building. Yes, BMW is one of the. On Thursday in the township lots, they were they spinning BMW. The ladies are spinning it. It's more like now an adventurer. They do that, the ladies. She will drive this and come out and come out this way. Yes, they do that every Thursday at FNB Stadium. You'll see it when we go there tomorrow at the SFNB Stadium. So they, it's the BMW, the 325i, 3 minutes 25 seconds into Soweto. That BMW, the one they're spinning it. 3, 325i, 3 minutes 25 seconds into Soweto from where we are going to Soweto. So it takes 3 minutes. So this is a so new town. Yes, new town. Yes, this is a new town. Shop right. Shop right is everywhere. Because that's how we, the, the, the low prices for everyone. In new town, there's a museum Africa yeah. here that was showing you the life of before apartheid. This one on the museum Africa. Africa. Yeah, I think I've been there. Yes, that was a long time ago. Yes, there's also the life band. Also, you can go there. That's what it was. It was Marafi, 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 yes, that other side. And then the building at the back okay, that it's right. written transnet yeah, on the far far left yeah. there. Yeah. That is the one that but used to go to the five zero floor. Wow. You go up there with the lift, then you can view Soweto and Johannesburg around. This is a John Foster Square. It's a prison. Mandela, before they went to the Con Hill and Constitutional Hill a prison, this is where they took them over here. And then on the right hand side here, yeah, during the time of an apartheid before 1994, we were also separated with sport and also with the color. And this area is called Fort Speck. That's where you find only the Indians. No other nations were allowed to come here. The wow. Fort, Fort Speck. So, That's where you'll find the Indians only. Now I'm trying to figure this out. So you have all white, uh, all white uh, towns and communities and then you have all Indian. So where's all the, where all the black people stay at? The black people... <laughs> <laughs> We're everywhere, right? We mix them? No, we stay everywhere. But in South Africa, especially in Johannesburg, the township where you'll find only the black people because they came here because they were working in the mines. It's a township now, it's the biggest one, which you call it so way too. That's family. where you'll find all the black people that are staying, are working around in the neighboring in Johannesburg. That's where you'll find them. You'll see that when we go there tomorrow. All the black people are staying there. That is beautiful. Uh, what's the percentage of white people that live in Soweto and Indians? Uh, the, the, it's about 19 families of white people that are living in Soweto. Right. Some are local, some are international. And then the Indians, it's a few of them because we do have an area that is called Clip Town. But now we call it Walter Susulu, the square of dedication. That's where our Freedom Charter was adopted. So that area, we'll see that tomorrow when we do a tour, you'll see the Indians. It used to be only the Jada family. We call them the Jada family. They used to own that area. They were not part of Soweto. They came, be, be, became part of Soweto after we voted in 1994. And also there are two townships in Soweto, uh, uh, suburbs in Soweto, which is Nohasek, and also El Rado Park. That's where you'll find the mixed people. So they became part of Soweto also after 1994. Well, excellent. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's funny because I was in Tanzania and they were telling me, this area is all Indians live in this area. Mm -hmm. So. They seem to be making their, you know, making their move. They, they want to be the next, uh, you know, uh, the next in charge of everything. So this is the Crown Mines. Right. Most of this area around here is bought by the Chinese. That's where you'll find most of the China City Mall. If you want all the Chinese stuff around here, you'll find them out there in the Crown Mine. And Crown Mine, that's where gold was discovered here in Johannesburg in 1886. So tomorrow when we do a proper tour from Johannesburg to Soweto, we'll pass by those places around them. Everybody loves Africa. Everybody. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, everyone is here. 
That's your second home. Yeah, you know, it's between East Africa and Southern and Africa. Southern. You have almost every single other nations of people living there, mm -hmm. doing and doing well for themselves. Yes. So family, if they can do it, we can do it, and we can work together and build us a new Africa with our own brothers and sisters on the continent. But it seems like when other people come, they basically come and I don't know how much they contribute to the growing of their economy, but I don't think the government taxed them enough. That's just, what do you think family? Do you think the government taxed uh, no. all of these foreigners enough? No. Because they just like, they, they come in with all kind of corporation. No, yeah. no, just like, there, there has to be some kind of strategy we figure out to where we tax them because everywhere we go we see, you know, so you see this on the right? It's all Chinese stores. Wow. Yeah, it's and a China mall. They do not come and assimilate. They come and take over. <laughs> wow, this. And I've and seen. I, it's like every country I've been into this year, I've seen China mall. China, malls. China. And this one also on the left is China. Uh, up from China Square and China Mall. That's how we China. So we gotta get our generation ready. Mm -hmm. Ready for competition. If they are ready. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm scared for our children in America because, ooh wee. Yeah. I don't, the education system for our children in America not competitive enough to, to compete with the, the Asians of the world and everyone else. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, Keenan. Um, I don't know if we had a direct uh, conversation. Um, 